Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video here in our beautiful channel. We're going to go through some functions and pointers today. I'm happy we went through pointers at this point in our example videos, alright? Because that means we're just free to go crazy now with memory allocation and stuff like that. I'm sure that from our previous uh, examples here that you learned a little bit about pointers and how they work, right? Just the key to pointers is to just use them all the time, all the time, all the time. Just keep working it in and eventually it will just stick in there like nothing else. So just remember that. Just keep working at it. And uh, But today we're going to go through some functions and pointers as function parameters, which is really important because we went through references and uh, we're going to check the differences between the two and what you can do and what you can't do. So uh, let's, make a, let's make a function here void because we don't have to return anything let's make an int pointer variable a okay and an int reference a now let's see the difference in the functions in functions there isn't oh whoops b whoops newbie mistake there uh, in a in a function there isn't really a difference the bi biggest difference would be that with references that once you assign reference uh, a address to a reference you cannot change it. It's like a constant pointer almost. And a pointer can be changed at any time. So what you could do in here is you could, for example, say a equals to something else as well as a equals to something else after that. But b, you cannot. You cannot change b's. Uh, you can change b's value, but you can't change what address b is pointing to. So that's a little different between references and pointers. So uh, read up on that. I'm sure you have a lot of good material for that. I'll go through some details later and we'll see what happens. But let's do this. A, since it's a pointer, we need to dereference A in order to get what it's pointing to. And we'll put it to 10. Okay. And then we'll just see out A. Okay. So what's going to happen in here, and w remember we have our memory leak check here. Well, we're not going to be using any, actually I'm just going to take this away, because we're not going to be dynamically allocating stuff today. We're just going to be doing simple stuff. So int number equals zero, all right? And we'll call our function with, we'll have two numbers here, int number two, or ref. This is going to be ptr, so just we can keep track of those see what happens with them. So we'll send our number ptr in here and we'll send our number reference in here. Sending in this as a reference and then this as a pointer. So when we send something in as a pointer, remember we are not sending in the value. If we do this we're sending in a value here, an integer value, zero. We don't want to do that. We want to send in the address of the actual uh, variable. All right, so we're sending in the address here. This is the difference between a reference. A reference will automatically just get the variable, and then it will become that variable. The pointer is going to point to that variable's address location. Okay, and then we're going to have to do all this other extra stuff to print stuff out. If we want to change b's value, we'll just do this. We don't have to dereference it. It's a reference already. You know, we don't have to dereference it. And uh, it's kind of automatic in that way. But we cannot do this. We can't do that because a is a pointer. We could do this. We could give b a's value which is 10 now. I know this could be confusing. I know this can be a little confusing but try to just look at it and try to understand what's going on. If we do this a is holding a uh, an address while b is a variable which is holding a value. We're not giving that uh, variable and an value here. We're giving it a address. Now we're giving it a value because 10 uh, number pointer which we're sending in is changed to 10 here and we're setting b to 10. All right. So that's the big difference here. So uh, remember that references and pointers not the same thing whatsoever in that respect. So okay we'll see out a and then we will see out b. We'll do that. And uh, let's see what happens here. Let's just make sure we're clear on what's going on. A, B, like that. Um, we'll show what's happening here. Okay. And then, yeah, it'll print it out. Let's see what happens. So, okay. So we printed out an address here because I did not dereference A. 
Okay, this might as well you see this again. B print out 20. We don't have to dereference the reference variable or parameter here uh, because it just is that way. Uh, that's the syntax for it, that's the rule. You don't have to take care of all that stuff. But with pointers, since you can change them and do stuff with them later, uh, you, you have to dereference and make sure you're doing the right thing. Uh, so we'll def dereference that real quick. Okay, so then we get the 10, the actual value that number pointer is holding. So uh, in that case, let us change something here. Let's set B's value to A, the referenced A, of course, the actual value, and then we'll print it out again. <coughs> Let's see what happens. Well, 10, 10. You see? 10, 10. So that way we changed it. If we wanted to do it the other way around, we'd say, what A is pointing to equals to B, okay? Which gives us 20, 20. Since A or B was 20, and we gave what A is pointing to uh, the value of B. So the difference is here, is that we're pretty much done now. I just want to show you the difference. The difference is, is that when you create a pointer, uh, creation, it the syntax is type, pointer thingy, name, equals initial uh, address, okay, initial address, which is uh, usually null pointer, okay, and at assignment of variable address, okay, what we do is we, we uh, just give in the name without the dereferencing thingy, name equals va variable identifier, okay, like that. If we want to uh, change value of point, um, what would you call that? Change value of variable being pointed to, okay. I know these are long here. Uh, let's do this. Maybe it'll be easier to read. Let's do this. Maybe it'll be a little easier. Okay, let's do that. So, um, what we'll do to change the variable, you need to use the dereference, dereference, name, okay, and then equals to value, okay, value. And if we want to say, um, well, that actually, that takes care of most of the cases here. But you see the difference, right? You use the dereference when you want to actually... Uh, uh, what pointer is pointing to is what this means, okay? What the pointer is pointing to. Uh, the pointer itself equals name and variables address equals name. Okay, so this is to get the address of a variable. We could get the address of the actual pointer by writing uh, this, okay? Now that's not what we want to do here, but just the ampersand in front of A would give us the actual position in the memory of this whole pointer. Just writing the pointer name gives us the address to what it's pointing to. Dereferencing it and writing the name gives us the value of what it's pointing to. Do you understand that? I hope you understand that. I hope this makes some sense, okay? And I hope we're getting somewhere with these pointer thingies. So just keep watching. Make sure you you do these and you actually always just try to, you know, every day just work on some pointer stuff. Because this is the most key part in programming. I know people say object-oriented programming is about all about the classes and stuff. Of course it is. But this is something you just have to know in order to work with uh, with memory and stuff. Because dynamic memory allocation is what almost everything is built up, right? You have to like store stuff in the memory and you want to store it in a smart way and not keep things there that you don't need at that very moment. So that's why it needs to be dynamic and that's why you need to know about all this stuff. And I'm gonna, in the next example, I'm gonna show you a small thingy where we can actually uh, use this to delete and, and make new stuff with it. So uh, stick with me, keep watching, I hope you learned something and yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.